This is the house. You two go that way. You over there. Go on. Looks like they're asleep. We'll go in over there. Give me that straw. Jefferson will know that I am not joking. So gallant, Donovan. And you were always so charming. Your compliments aren't made quite seriously enough. <laughs> Though I must admit, I do find them amusing. And you, Mr. Colony? Well, as for me, I thought that you were the success. Oh, you are a flatterer. It was nothing, I assure you. I recall your excellent hospitality that evening. I'm happy to forget it. That's what she said. And she's right. I'm a marvelous liar, but I wouldn't want everyone to know. John, you listen to me. Ladies and gentlemen, please forgive me, I beg you. You see, I'm sure you people are happy today, as I am happy, especially because of my nephew's election to the office of mayor of Clayton City. I think Mr. Curley, who was so honorably defeated, deserves a show of appreciation. Now may I suggest that we all drink a toast to this city which has brought us such great prosperity. And for this grand occasion, there is champagne. You can serve it now. May prosperity always bless this country. Gentlemen, Clayton City is a city that honors honest men, like Mr. Curley, and our new young mayor, my nephew, Frank Colony. Ladies and gentlemen, to all of you. Hold it, everybody. No one move. You, the girl. Leave her alone. Get your hands off my daughter. This is outrageous. Leave her alone. Let me... Don't anyone move. Stand right where you are. And don't any one of you interfere. Or I'll cut her throat. You get that? All right, let's go. If 
you want to see the girl alive, bring $15,000 to the White Rocks or otherwise we'll hang her. Don't worry. We'll get her. I'll be needing you all now. Whatever happens, they won't get away with this. Take this, Spark. And I figure you better take Benson, too. And bring me back the 15,000. All right, I'll go to the White Rocks as soon as I get the cash and pay them their ransom. Without an escort. And unarmed. The rest of you remain here. I'll take an extra horse to bring Susie back. That's what you've got for an idea. You want me to back you up, you better come up with a plan with more sense in it. You two ain't got a chance of getting back alone. She's my cousin, and those are my orders. Make no mistake about these bandits. They're well organized, and they won't be wiped out easily. It's a question of hitting them when they don't expect us. Coffee, Sheriff. What is it? Trouble, and by myself, I uh, won't be able to handle it. Been riding all day trying to find you. I uh, need your help, and I'm asking you for it. Go on. Some bandits have made off with old man Prescott's daughter. They're asking for 15000 before they return the girl. And uh, I don't know what to do about it, Sartana. Here. This is the trail my men and I will take while you and your men turn off to the fork in the road and head for Crow Pass. That's about a mile up into the hills. Now remember, you leave Clayton City one hour ahead of me. At this spot, you'll find yourself in the best position to head off any possible escape. As far as I know, this part of the country doesn't have any other usable trails. So it'll be easy enough to catch them right here. Uh, maybe it'll work. What do you got to say on it, Colony? It's got a good chance. We better use it. But I'd like one thing understood. Be sure we're out of there before anyone moves. Yeah, sure. We won't begin shooting before you and the girl are clear, okay?
I heard the people in town talking about the fire at the Jefferson Ranch last night. Uh, well, those bandits shot every one of Jefferson's crew. Ever since they killed Prescott, there's been no peace around here. No matter how much Sheriff Benson tries, he, he don't seem to get anywhere. Isn't there anything we can do? I'm afraid not, Trudy, absolutely nothing. And to think of poor Miss Susie being dragged off by those outlaws makes my blood boil. I don't know what the devil's going to happen to this country. Isn't there someone who could help us out? Who? Who is it? A friend. Well, I'll be dang. <laughs> I knew the sheriff wouldn't have much trouble finding you. <laughs> Looks good, don't he? <laughs> Trudy, this is Sartana. Yeah. Sartana. That's fair enough. I've brought the ransom. Does it here? Good. Don't move, mister. Catch. Colony, huh? Well, Mayor, you better get a move on. And don't forget, we'll be watching every move you make until you get back to town. And remember, if you set some sort of trap, there are plenty of other men who will make sure you don't stay alive too long. Understand? Now get going. And don't look back. Go on. Get.
Here's the fork. Y'all be careful now. We'll be riding into Crow Pass soon enough. We'll get those bandits and then make them pay. Come on, boys.
I want to be sure, so we go by foot from here. Now, we got to be quiet. Up there by the trees is where we'll be. And by George, we'll give them a show they won't forget. Let's move. Who's the damn fool that gave the game away? Pete. He went all nervous and got trigger happy. Damned idiot. All right, let's get out of here. Barman, I want a double shot of whiskey. Then bring me a large steak and a couple of eggs. Yeah, hey, sure. Hey, Trudy, you take care of him. I'm going to the barber. From now on, we're suspending our plans. The holdup of the Western Pacific Bank is postponed. The raid on the McDonald Ranch and the kidnapping of young Jerry are put off until further notice. 
Sartana is here in Clayton City. I want to meet him personally. He's at the saloon now. I don't care how you do it, but I want him at the Redville Crossing as soon as possible. And don't fail if you know what's good for you. Mister, I want you to throw that gun down. And don't fool around now. The boss says we got to get him the hell out of here. What's going on? They got our Ricky. And this time they doubled the ransom. I don't know what there is to do about it, you see. They're going to kill him unless I pay $30,000. Here, take a look at this. Well, we put him on a run earlier today, and we killed three of them. I don't understand this. We better get a move on, Sheriff. They won't be taking chances while they're holding Rick. Uh, they took Ricky. They took him. Can't you wait? Yes, and can't you just wait a little longer? There's no telling what they might do. I don't want Ricky hurt. We'll wait until you pay the ransom. Then we'll try another plan and hope that this time it works. Don't worry, dear. We'll get him back. It's a serious situation. Between Susie and your son, these bandits have cost us $45,000. And the point is, we can't go on living in fear like this any longer. We don't even have a lead on who they are, Colony. I don't know how they keep getting away. It seems awful damn strange. I'll tell you what I think. I think they're getting tipped off. Donovan, I think you're right, only who's the bastard tipping them off? Every single thing we do, they know about ahead of time. I'm sick of going on this way. It's embarrassing for me, too. And right at the beginning of my career, I hope this will make sense to you, gentlemen. You see, there are a few things I'm suspicious of. In my opinion, the kidnapping of your boy was arranged with the scope of putting me in a bad light. There's only one person who'd be interested in that, and that one person is your old mayor. Now, may I ask, what gives you the right to talk like that? You've all known me for a long time. I won't take it. It's outrageous. You know, I'm not too sure it hasn't been curly all the while. What do you see? 
In which case, one day he'll make a mistake. They always do. Purchase our tanner. He hurt the... He's gone! Idiot! The only thing I did manage to do was hide his gun. <laughs> so, tanner! I knew they couldn't hold you. Don't worry, Trudy was able to get your gun. She told me what happened. Now, what are you going to do, Sartano? Get my gun. This ain't over yet. Escape! You are all fools! I'll have to look somewhere else for men good enough to take Sartana. For that, I'll need experts. And while I'm gone, I want Curly killed. He's becoming dangerous. And take care of Tom Ross as well. I'm Buffalo. Great Buffalo. Known as the Whip. This Whip here. I can take a fly out of the air. <laughs> this whip, I can beat anyone at all. Ultra! 
I'll give ten to one to anyone who can last ten minutes with Sullivan. I'll try. Good luck. <laughs> most powerful boxer. No one has ever beaten me. <laughs> there is $20,000 for your man if he goes to Clayton City and faces a man called Sartana. Son, I'm looking for Ramirez. I paid twenty thousand dollars for his knife. That's me. Who do you want? Sartana. Muy bien. I do it. Miss Susie, I don't know how to say this, except I'm real sorry about your father. He was a good man. Thank you, Tom. You've been a great help. And I want you to know that I appreciate it. Maybe I'll just go away somewhere else where I can be alone. You see, my father's death hurt me a lot. Well, now that I'm here, I'll take care of you. I've believed in you ever since I was a child. But now, I'm so depressed I feel as though I wanted to die. If it'll make things any easier, you might have faith in me. I think you had better leave. You see, by remaining here, you'd be tempting those bandits. I must speak to Von Krassel. Let me through. I don't have time to lose.
out. Wait. The music, does it really please you? Yeah. And me, do I as well? Etta, there is a man to see you, Signor. Have him sent in. Good morning. Won't you be seated? Don't stand there like an idiot, girl. You are the famous von Kratzel. Yeah, well. Your men have a reputation for being efficient killers. Thank you, sir. I want a man called Sartana killed. Just any one of your men will not do. I must have the best. Bring four of the black group here. See, si, senor. Come closer. Look at them. They're trained for duels, face to face. My men never kill from behind. Silky is the one you want to buy, I think. How about a little demonstration? Very good. Bring champagne, quick.
How much do you want for it? How about 20,000 then? That's reasonable. Cheap at that price. 10,000 paid now, the rest later. Yeah, help? Frank. Ah, Susie. You know, your decision to leave certainly has me puzzled. Is there no hope you'll change your mind? If I stay here, I'll only cause trouble. And you seem to have enough of that as it is. I think I better go. When will you be gone? Tomorrow morning in the carriage. Jane is going too. We'll stop at Potter's Hole. Your grandmother's, of course. Very well, Susie. It is better that you leave. But I'll miss you. Maybe we could... I've been planning for the future. You and I, we could... Hello, Sartana. You finally went and made up your mind about it, huh? You're really gonna get out of Clayton City. Yes, though I'd like to stay, but, but it wouldn't work. And at grandmother's, I'll be able to relax. Of course, I'm sorry to, to leave Frank, but it's impossible. Pleasant trip and take it easy. If I can be of any help, just let me know. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Come on, Susie. You know me, Susie. I think he's very nice. Tom! Tom, what happened? I wasn't looking at the bandits. Now tell me, did you see their faces? The, the, the bandits and, and the, the mine. The, 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 the gold and... I'll get them for you, Tom. I'll get them.
always late when it's your turn to stand guard. Talk. Who's your boss? What's his name?
that's all due to you. Ain't I right, Johnson? It sure is. <laughs> Whiskey. Seems like I was just thinking about you. About the last time you were here and how it was. Because for two or three days, you know what I mean? Without you. Why, in the mornings, I felt so lonely. You know, I wasn't trying to tie you down. Never kill from behind. You've been cheating all night. <laughs> Now it's your turn. I'm going to tear you apart.
It's evident that uh, someone doesn't like you. Two men already tried to kill you. You know, there might be more. You better come up to my room and rest a while. Fanny, I wouldn't mind if we had a little talk. It just might prove to be useful. I happen to know four men arrived here to kill you. Of course, now there are only two left. I think they'll try to surprise you. The least I can do is warn you about them. Don't worry about it. They're all gonna get what they got coming. I'll see to that. Seems I have two idiots less and Sartana is still alive. I want him found. Buffalo, you and two men go to Tom's shack. He might decide to hole up there. And don't forget, I want him killed and it must be done immediately. I can't put off the Western Pacific job any longer. It's worth half a million dollars. But we must get Sartana first. Tana. It must be your lucky day. Let's see how good you really are. <laughs> I'll take you to the Mormon alive. Reward all to myself. <coughs> You're as good as dead. Never kill from behind.
Hurry it up. We've got to get out of here. Hold it. I want to find out who you all are before I kill you. Hello, Donovan. Take off your gun belts. So, Colony, you're the Mormons. million years. The Mormon is you, huh? The one we never would have suspected. Ain't that what you figured? Thanks, Sartana. I'd like to say that we owe you a lot. Sartana, Trudy and I just saw Silky riding into town. Don't go outside. I'll see what he wants. Hey!
Don't go, Sardana. It's only a scratch, I feel all right. <laughs> <laughs> 